Assalamu alaikum. Amanda. Amanda goes back to basics. Welcome. Welcome to my Ramadan special. And if you're new here, I do hope that I can reach out to you and give you some information that you may not have known or just reconfirm. I'm going to be talking a little bit today about the general Ramadan, what is Ramadan, and hopefully, inshallah, over the next uh, few weeks leading up to Ramadan, I'll be giving more information through each video. If that sounds interesting and you want to join me on this one, hit the kettle, grab yourself a cup of tea and hop on board. Now, Ramadan is uh, about 36 days away. Now, that might sound a lot, but believe me, it's not when you need to get yourself ready and prepared. You can see Ramadan like um, a bit like a, a bit like the Olympics, perhaps, or a sport that we have to train for and prepare for. We do need to prepare for Ramadan. It's it's not something you can just suddenly launch into. Well, for me personally, um, for the first couple of Ramadans, I scrambled around and was wondering what should I be doing. Uh, apart from fasting, of course, I mean, for me, that's the easiest bit, you know, to abstain from food. There's many other layers of Ramadan. Uh, so firstly, what is Ramadan? Well, Ramadan is the name of a month in the lunar calendar, of the Islamic calendar. And as, as suggested, the title suggests, lunar. We work on the lunar cycle of the moon. So Ramadan, alhamdulillah, it changes from one month, um, sorry, from one year to the next because the, um, the calendar is set on the cycle of, of the moon. It's not fixed. It's not like Christmas where we know it's going to be on the 25th of December, which is somewhat easier, right? Uh, although having said that, it does give you some relief when you live in the northern hemisphere you don't necessarily always have Ramadan at the same time, perhaps in the summer where it's super hot and the days are really long. Um, so Alhamdulillah, Allah blessed us with, with this beautiful lunar calendar. So um, in the month of Ramadan, we do fast. Yes, fasting is one of the pillars of Islam. If you are not aware, uh, the five pillars uh, would be your declaration, your shahada that you say you believe only in Allah. Uh, the one God, and that the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is his messenger. The second pillar would be to fast, which is what we're doing, and the third pillar would be to um, to give, to give a zakar, which zakar, which is a, a donation to charity as a percentage. I do believe it's something like two point five percent of your overall um, disposable income that we need to give to a charity. The, we normally do this towards the end of Ramadan, and um, we can also do it throughout Ramadan. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the charity and the giving uh, as we go through the series. And the, um, now the final uh, pillar would be the pillar of Hajj. And Hajj is another name of our blessed uh, lunar calendar of the month as well. And that's when obviously you do take the pilgrim to Mecca. Inshallah, may Allah bless us all with, with the ability to actually get to Mecca. So fasting throughout the 30 days or 29 days, depending on, on when the, the moon is sighted, and it can be sighted at different times within a day or so, depending on where you are in the world. So sometimes one country would be starting their Ramadan on one day and some other countries might be starting on the next day. So we have to listen out for when it is for you uh, as a country when you're going to be starting your, your Ramadan. Ramadan starts and then you will be fasting from uh, dawn and well, Fajr, the call of Fajr, that's your start of uh, fasting until the sun goes down Maghrib. And um, we tend to have uh, what's called suhoor, which would be your last meal before you take your fast. So it does mean that we do get up very, very early during the, the days uh, or the mornings or the nights, I guess, 
of Ramadan. It gives you the opportunity actually to, if you just get up that little bit earlier, you could actually do your uh, tajud, tajud prayers, your night prayers, and get the abundance of blessings there as well. Um, I think I've covered everything on Ramadan for now as to what it is and uh, what we what we do during during the uh, month of Ramadan. Um, oh no, I didn't tell you uh, why Ramadan is particularly special. And this is the month where it's all all also called, or you might hear it being called, the month of the Quran because we read Quran throughout this blessed month, and it was actually the month when our Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, received the initial uh, revelation of Ikra. Uh, read, read, read in the name of your Lord. Those are the first words that came to our blessed Prophet. So we do try, inshallah, to read our Quran throughout that month. And if you look carefully on the Quran, you will see at the top of the page, it says Juz, and it's numbered one to 30. So it's actually chopped into sections, into 30 sections, so you can read it one just a day, uh, inshallah, if you have uh, the inclination, or at least the intention to try and do that, and then you will reap the rewards as well. So that really sums it up. Well, what we're not allowed to do during the month of Ramadan, we are, we are prohibited, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that through the series, actually. And you are, uh, we are prohibited to um, obviously no drinking and, 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 and water, but also we need to be really, really mindful of our actions and our intentions. So we stay very calm and fasting actually naturally makes you feel quite sedated and um, you submit um, during that time as well. So even if you're feeling a little bit agitated, which you really shouldn't be feeling agitated, um, but if you did get like that, then you can always draw on the fact that you're feeling quite hungry and that might remind you to just calm down, sit down, take a breath and just remember, you know, that, that you're doing your, your fasting and so that you can get your benefits from that as well. So we tend to be very mindful of our actions and of our words and we like to give as much to charity as we can, not necessarily monetary during the month, but um, giving your time. Uh, smiling more, just generally being more helpful perhaps around the house with your mum or your sisters or you know at work, just generally be a lot more alert, helping out where you can. Um, yeah, to, so to really really gain that benefit. I hope that you do feel that you've got some insight now as to what Ramadan is and what it involves and what you need to be doing, but don't panic because I'm going to be, as like I said, inshallah, I'll, I'll put out some more videos so that we can talk about how to prepare for Ramadan, exactly what does it mean by abstaining and what does it mean by fasting, because these are just uh, practical, literal things that we do, but there's obviously another layer underneath all of that in terms of our connection with Allah. And this is where I got a bit lost during my first few Ramadans. I didn't quite understand the whole of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get out there to, to the new Muslims um, and even Muslims who were born Muslims or if you've been a Muslim for a while, you know, let's, let's remind ourselves how to conduct and how to cherish and nourish our hearts and our spiritual connection. Thank you so much for listening to me today and if you enjoyed my video please hit the like button as always give us uh, the thumbs up and encouragement that um, you know we need a little bit of encouragement now and then it's nice to be recognized although i'm really trying to keep in check with my intentions that this is for allah i am doing this dawah for the sake of Allah, to show people the beauty of Islam, it's so simple and it completely changed me and I would love it to really change you as well in, in the most beautiful way. So hit the like, hit the subscription if you haven't done so already. Please share my channel around all your contacts. I would very much appreciate that because you don't know, you really don't know who's listening or who this this video might touch the heart of someone so we can gain those benefits as well remember please share the dawah share it out there it's wonderful take care much much love for the sake of Allah and I'll see you in the next few days inshallah